well, super fast video here. If you all remember, I talked about this motherboard on a previous video. It was a Goodwill find, $7.99. It's a Pentium AT motherboard. I picked it up on a Lark. I had It had no CPU and no RAM, so I bought these off of eBay. This uh, Intel CPU, Pentium 166, it's an SL27K. I got this from Portugal on eBay. Um, I think it was $6 and the shipping was $2.80. So I paid about $9 for that. And the RAM, which I can't remember how much capacity that is, uh, it was also an eBay purchase. And this is Samsung memory. Who knows how much that is. And I had to pick up a cooler for that. And the reason why I even bothered doing this is because, uh, if you remember, I got this case here to take the floppy drives out of. There's a three and a half inch, five hundred quarter inch, but it's an AT case and it has a power supply here. And um, I thought, oh, might as well. I had this AT motherboard. Why not get it in there and working? Um, if just a quick note, if you ever plug these AT power cables in, there's two connectors. Um, they can go on either way. The black wires have to go in the center. Also, I had this VGA card, which I got also from Goodwill, $5. Unfortunately, um, it's a GeForce, it's PCI. It has the BGA problem that so many of these had. I guess this was an early 2000s card. And uh, you know, the, the, the soldering falls apart. And this was happening inside laptops, like Macintoshes had this issue with this particular GPU. I could try to bake it in the oven, maybe fix it. But anyways, if I use this, it does seem to work. I've tried it in a different computer. It just, uh, you get weird patterns on the screen, but you can read what you're trying to do. It's it's not completely broken. Anyways, that's enough to test this. So I'm going to see if I can make this motherboard work. I mean, it may be broken. I have no idea. Goodwill. I have a speaker hooked up. This was in the case. Just plugs into the motherboard right there. This is connected. I looked in the manual to set up the RAM. This is bank zero, bank one. That's how it goes. You do have to set the jumpers on this motherboard for various things like CPU speed. That's just how it was back in the old days. So this jumper was relevant here according to the manual and this one here sets the multiplier. And I kind of went over all the other motherboard jumpers and everything looked okay. Motherboard's in pretty good shape. There's a little bit of corrosion there. That's uh, deox. I was trying to remove the corrosion. All right, so I'm ready to test this out. I have the shitty VGA car plugged in. I have a AT to PS2 adapter, power supplies connected, speakers connected, and I do have my monitor connected over there. So let's see what happens when I hit this uh, power switch. Hmm, nothing. Oh wait, look at that. Okay, ignore the video problem. That's just the problem with this video card. All right. So I guess this thing kind of works. Maybe, maybe not. Mm, I'm not too sure. I don't know what kind of problems this video card is causing though. But that's a good sign. Although no beep. Hmm. Let me power this off and try again. I'll fool around before I come back to you. All right, I plugged in my video card from my Micron. And look, there we are. It works. Uh, let's see. I don't even know what the deal is here. Standard CMOS. Oh, wow. It has a date. December 12, 2016. That is today. When was the last time this thing, oops, was used? Uh, how do I see how much RAM is in this thing? I guess if I just save and I, I figured the battery would be dead on this motherboard. It's, uh, I think the date this is from. Let's see. So it beeps. The stupid monitor does this power saving thing. So there we go, they have 32 gigs of RAM, 166 megahertz Pentium. Sweet, floppy drive fail, of course. Well, nothing's plugged into it. Energy Star as an AT motherboard. All right, cool. So that works. So I just need to buy a new video card. That piece of crap one from Goodwill for $4 doesn't work. But that's kind of exciting. I think this motherboard is a lot faster than the original 33 megahertz that was in here. But yeah, this isn't too bad of a motherboard. And I, you know, I had no idea if it would work or not, but apparently it does. Setup, oops, I don't need to load setup default. So plug and play. All right, um, I didn't see a date on this BIOS, but it's gotta be, I'd say around 95 if it has plug and play. Yeah, resources controlled. And some power saving. 
And the usual chipset. Oh, there's the RAM. 70 nanosecond RAM. Oh, boy, that's fast. Not really, actually. Very cool. All right, well, that's exciting. Um, I'm still annoyed I paid $5 for a bad video card, and I went to go return it, and I had to go back to the same store you bought it from to get the credit. And that was up in a different part of town. I didn't feel like driving up there for $5. But I'm pretty pleased that my $7 or was it $8 motherboard works. So all in all, I spent, uh, I guess uh, this was like $4.50 maybe. Processor underneath was $9 plus the RAM, which was about 5 bucks plus the motherboard. Eh, you know, I'm in $25. But to get a, a working AT motherboard that I can now put inside this case, that makes me pleased. I'll have to go f seek out a cheap video card on eBay now. Thanks for watching. If any of this was cool to you, thumbs up. Bye.